Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for spending your Sunday afternoon with me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. For at least the last 13 years, I think we've been living on borrowed time for Yellowstone to have a, an eruption or another very large earthquake that could lead to an eruption. First off, I want to say that um, the earthquake that I wasn't quite sure that happened there at Yellowstone because uh, USGS didn't report it and it was so large. Well, I shouldn't not have doubted myself because it did happen. It was a magnitude 3.9 along the Snake River Plateau. I thought it was. 16 people said they felt it. Maybe that's why they decided to finally report it. It used to be, if there was a magnitude 2.5 or greater, that the computers would automatically post the earthquakes. Well, that seems to have changed. Um, down here, they got a shake intensity of 4. And then up over here, shake intensity 3. So it was about 8.9 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. It was felt as far southwest as Boise or close to Boise, Idaho. Um, Nampa. Let's see. Then up north as far as, far as Victor. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit see what we got here uh, let's see intensity level three intensity level three at chalice ellis intensity level two um salmon intensity level two soup intensity level three all right there's the location on google earth let me bring this out take a, a gander at where this earthquake occurred Let's see. Yeah, that's where they've been having a swarm. And then trying to see where, where was it that those women got attacked by the otters? I don't see it. I am sure that I put it on here, but maybe I did not save the work. Sorry about that. You'll have to go back and watch that video. Normally animals will try and stay clear of people. Um, one woman had been uh, airlifted out. She had her face and arms, yeah, clawed up or chewed up by that otter. There was a group of otters that attacked three women there. This would be for the new people that have followed me. I've talked about this crack that's at the bottom of Yellowstone Lake. Um, there's a rhyolite cap keeping the intrusion of the magma from coming in. Back in 2008 and 2009, there was an earthquake swarm. And I've talked about how Yellowstone Lake is spreading. Well, during this earthquake swarm, we have the ground base, the crust of the earth, actually moved almost five inches towards the west. So we got displacement of the crust of the earth that moved during this earthquake swarm of 2008 and 9 of almost five inches. We got a fault that opened up. Um, a little more than three inches, a little more than seven miles. And I, I drew it out here in this second line in red. There's also another scarp fault. This fault probably goes all the way up to Lee Hardy um, Falls. Another thing that is very interesting is this is not far. If you follow the red lines and go up, towards the north towards Fern Lake that's where they found that the trees had died fallen to the ground and because of the heat coming from the ground they turned to charcoal and then because I was doing some research about the Lee Hardy fault zone and I wanted to uh, put in my lines here that were yeah they ended up disappearing when Google Earth um, updated. I found a document. This was research done about the 2008 and 2009 earthquake swarm at Yellowstone Lake. You can see the spreading here and the fault line here. 
and let me go down and read to you what the last paragraph of these five pages say. We also noted that this unusual earthquake swarm may represent the first geophysical observation, the first of a failed surfical hydrothermal volcanic event in Yellowstone. They, ex they thought there should have been a hydrothermal eruption and it didn't happen. Moreover, the observed temporal sparta seismic and deformation pattern reflects the style of volcano tectonic activity that can be expected in the Yellowstone volcanic field and that could lead to triggering of larger earthquakes or volcanic eruptions in the future. Yeah, so we all know we're living on borrowed time, at least I've been saying for Yellowstone's eruption, but at least we have been since 2008 and 2009 when they had that earthquake swarm. Yeah, you can't predict when a volcano is going to erupt but when they deliberately withhold information where people can prepare, make financial decisions, things like that with their lives, and to deliberately withhold it about the danger that is currently going on at Yellowstone is criminal. This report was done in 2010 by Jamie Farrell, Robert Smith. Um, I highly respect him. Um, he tells a lot of things that he probably shouldn't be telling. And then two other people, probably three people. I'm not going to try and pronounce their names. Jamie Farrell, it says here under um, Utah.ed, is currently the chief seismologist of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. He's a research assistant at the University of Utah and gives all this other information. I'll give you a link to that paper. It'll be down below. And here's the latest earthquakes that are showing up there at Yellowstone. Far left is Moose Creek, Idaho. The uh, second to the left is Denny Creek. This is West Thumb. Yeah, look at that. Remember, uh, two years later, in 2011, they did a scenario um, for a hydrothermal eruption, uh, a tsunami, earthquake swarm for the West Thumb. This is West Thumb. It's been really active. And then on the far right is Maple Creek. Yeah, I was watching this last night. As you can see here, for some reason, last night when I was watching what was going around, going on, all of a sudden all the data stopped coming in. And yeah, I thought, well, we'll wait and see. So this is what it's currently showing. Yeah, this is West Thumb. Over by Grant. Yeah, it's continuous. There's all that popping. I've talked about this too. For many of you that might be new. Um, the ground is getting really, really brittle. Um, because of the pressure of the magma under the ground pushing up on the crust of the earth and it just can't stretch anymore. Each one of these red lines is the popping of the ground. Each one. And this has been going on, let me close this, uh, for about 24 hours if not more. This is what it was showing last night. Oops, off the line. Got to stay on the line. This here is the earthquake that I reported last night when I did my, or yesterday when I did my Yellowstone report. Yeah, you can, now this is uh, Moose Creek, Idaho. This is Maple Creek. And I believe, let's see, Maple Creek had popping too. Okay, we got an earthquake there at 1933. Let's see if they reported it. That would have been at 1.33 p.m. local time. It's not being reported. 
All right, so the only earthquake they are reporting within the last 24 hours was the one from yesterday, the 3.9. This here is a small earthquake. It is a magnitude 1.24. We got some more popping here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, right there, right when I pulled the files. All right, now we got another one there. Let's see here. And then last night, you can see them all marked in red here. Let me bring it up. Yeah, they were having drum beats last night. All right, I want to go to Denny Creek. Now, again, this is up close to the Madison River area. This is the area when, supposedly, they believe, when it had its last major eruption. This is the area where it started. And you can see the line of melt, which is actually two lines of melt, um, making it appear much thicker. But there was all kinds of stuff going on. And then we got the popping. Look at that. Yeah. This is Denny Creek. This was shown yesterday too. And it's still showing today. Look at that. So you can see it's actually separated. So we got a, a crack where the magma is coming in. Yeah. And it's heating up all that water and the toxic gases and all that. I don't know if I'm on the right line. There we go. Okay. And then there was more. I don't know if this was. Yeah. This, I believe I showed you yesterday, but it's still ongoing right there. Um, 1645. Now that's universal time. So that would have been at 945 a.m. today, Sunday, August 6th. Okay. And we got more. I'll just come down, look at some of this stuff. Look at the heat that's coming up. Now, taking you over to the live stream view up here at the top, that is West Thumb. Look at the activity. This is Maple Creek below it. Moose Creek, well, you can't really tell because it's just one thick blob of magma coming in. And then down here is Denny Creek. All right, this is Moose Creek, Idaho. This is down by um, the western entrance. And we're going to click on some of these that are marked in red. Yeah, we got the thickening. You see the heat coming up and the toxic gases. Yep. Okay, we got a bunch marked in red here. Let's look at the, yeah, drum beats. Drum beats, drum beats. Let's extract that. They're pointing mostly to the bottom, which means these earthquakes here are from the south. Okay, let's see. Well, I'll click on this one and see what we got. See, and these are volcanic tremors. This means the magma is coming into the system. Okay, let's see. Find some more little popping going on. Yeah, that's tectonic. That's because of the pressure of the magma coming into the system on the tectonic plates is making a move. Yeah, I, I guarantee if Yellowstone erupts, you're going to hear it. Before I let you go, yeah, um, on the 9th of June was the last time that Steamboat Geyser erupted. I wanted to cover that. So that's all I got for you right now. Yeah, that should make your hair stand on end, knowing that they are expecting another eruption. They are really surprised that there was not a hydrothermal eruption. For some reason, it failed to happen. Yeah, it's really foggy there. So you should know that you get fog when cold air passes over warm ground. Yeah, it just shows you how warm it is there. The ground, I should say. And I noticed that, you know, the camera's been shaking a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of a pretty little picture. It looked like it stopped there for a second. Yeah, they've been having problems with the web camera again. For the amount of money that they bring in, you think they would have decent equipment. But they probably figure it's not going to be around very long, so they're not going to waste the money. They're going to use it for flight plans to another country, maybe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> champagne for the last hurrah what are your thoughts 
Yeah, I was blessed to find that paper um, about that earthquake swarm. Yeah, we are on borrowed time. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. Music